Okay, so let me demonstrate how to create a calculation for running total within a table and a chart. So this table has uh, revenue for each product that's under each sales manager in, our, in the company. So what we want to do is see what the total revenue is um, for all products by each sales manager. So we can do that with a running total calculation. So we will open the builder panel. And if you go down to measures and select more, add calculation, the type we will add as a running total. And we'll name the calculation running total by manager. And the operation is we will sum each product for that manager. Uh, we could do a count and the minimum or the maximum or an average of that product. But in this case, we'll, we'll just go ahead and uh, just sum it for the running total. And we're looking at revenue. And we're summing each product. So we'll select OK. So you can see here, um, as a, the revenue, as we go down each line, it's adding running total by manager. So they're adding all the revenue together. You can see, so Janet Burry, after all, at the end of the products that she sells that are under her, she has 106 million. And then it resets here at Gary Duman. And then he's down total sales for him is 33 million. Now we could also do, for instance, um, you know, what's uh, maybe uh, the minimum by manager, minimum revenue by manager uh, for a product by product. So we'll select minimum account revenue, and then we'll do product and select OK. So you can see in the beginning, it's going to be for Janet, 20 million is the minimum. And then I'll go to the next line. For fruit juice, there was 53. So 20 is still less than 53. So it carries the 20. And you can see by the end, it looks like the minimum product line uh, revenue that sh uh, that she um, produces is going to be 4.7 million. Okay, let's move on to the chart. So what I've done here is I've selected a combination column and line line chart, and I've already set the revenue under the column axes. And then for line axes, I'm going to um, create a calculation. So I will select um, add account under line axes and then add calculation. And then again, running total. So we'll do a moving average. So I'll select average and I'll name the calculation moving average, revenue moving average. So the account will still be revenue. And in this case, we're going to use dates. So we're going to calculate the moving average by the number of months. So now you can, ha you can leave it where the y-axis overlaps. Um, I prefer to separate them. It's a little easier to read. Now you can also do a um, let's say, a, uh, <clears throat> a, a running total as well. So we'll add another. So I'll let me go through that one more time. So we'll add a second line and then add calculation. And then we'll do running total. So running total by month. 
or by date, let's date. And we'll sum revenue and date. And I'll select OK. So there you have it. It's pretty easy to do, and I think you'll be very successful with this uh, particular calculation.